The problems in the MDC have divided the party and are threatening to see history repeat itself. In 2005, the MDC survived a split and now a breakaway group led by Secretary General Tendai Biti could be going the same way. The Honorable Biti has formed his own political party. It is a political party for which they are failing to find a name, but it is a political party nevertheless. Changirai's camp says the suspensions announced Saturday are null and void. It says the Secretary General does not have the mandate to call a National Council meeting and that there was no quorum. The rebel faction is calling for Changirai to step down and pave way for new leadership. But the former trade unionist thinks otherwise. Morgan Changirai insists that he still has the backing of the masses. Well, today, hundreds of his supporters came to give him their support, some of them brandishing banners saying Changirai forever and denouncing the leaders of a faction that has been calling for a suspension. Analysts say the problems run deeper than just popular support. It's not a question of whether, you know, you say I still have control of the grassroots. It's a question of whether you are adhering to the principles and values of the political party that you stand for. The MDC was founded on the values of democracy, uh, non-violence, you know, respect for divergent opinions. Changira is accused of silencing talk about leadership renewal and persecuting dissenting voices, violating the party's constitution to do so. His supporters deny this and argue the battle is an ideological one. This struggle is, 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 is pitting those who stand for the rich against those who stand for the poor. This struggle is for the poor and the downtrodden masses. And Morgan Changirai is an epitome of that struggle. For now, Changirai seems to have the upper hand. The legal case, based on the party's constitution, favors him, and there are still hundreds singing his name. But it remains to be seen if his party can withstand yet another split and still be able to challenge ZANU PF come the 2018 polls. Farai Mokutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.